Water releases from the Oroville Dam have stopped, but this has now led to a new problem. Now that the water is receding in the Feather River below the dam, the salmon are getting stranded outside of the main river. CBS 13 meteorologist Lisa Meadows is in the newsroom getting answers about how they're trying to save the salmon. Lisa? You know, the break in the wet weather and also the pause in the dam releases is definitely a good thing for everyone. Everyone except for these fish. Last month, too much water muddied up the Feather River and put the salmon population in danger. Now that the spillway has been closed, too little water is putting the salmon population in danger once again. When they shut off the spillway gates, it left probably tens of thousands, if not more, of fish stranded in little pools outside of the river channel and they couldn't get back. Fish and wildlife workers went to work trying to save the endangered salmon, steelhead, and other fish, but it turned out to be no small task. The fish don't want to be caught. Most of these are wild fish that were spawned in the river, and they know the gag. They want to get away from something that's trying to get them. So how do you gather hundreds of tiny fish all along the Feather River? The fish and wildlife workers are using aerial photos and more than a dozen boats to locate these hidden pools. They're even using special electrical stun rods, which give the fish a small jolt, allowing them to collect the tiny fish. They then load the baby salmon in buckets and take them back to the main river. Yesterday we saved 800 fish. 800 fish and climbing. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says they will continue the fish rescue operation for the rest of the week or until it starts raining. Well, there's over a billion dollar industry in salmon fishing, so it's, it's critical that we try to save as many fish as we can. Now the draining river is actually revealing something new. These major sandbanks are showing up downstream and they weren't here before. Salmon Christina. Hmm. All right, thank you very much, Lisa. Appreciate that. Our